You know how every fall smartphone launch sounds the same? Thinner, lighter, faster, and so on. But this year, OnePlus is trying a different kind of flex with the upcoming OnePlus 15. Not just about power or cameras, but about how tough the phone actually is. And that's interesting, because in a world where flagships feel more fragile than ever, durability might be the one spec that actually matters in real life. OnePlus isn't just hinting at strength, they're practically screaming it from the rooftops. The company is treating the OnePlus 15 like it was forged in a sci-fi fantasy world, hyping its new aerospace-grade metal body as if it's armor for your pocket. Dramatic, sure, but underneath the marketing is a genuinely cool piece of engineering. The metal frame of the OnePlus 15 goes through a process called micro-arc oxidation, MAO for short. Think of it as giving the metal a ceramic-like coating, the same kind of treatment you'd find on high-tech aerospace components. The idea is simple, make the frame significantly more resistant to scratches, scuffs, and the kind of daily wear that slowly makes most phones look older than they are. Keys, coins, and rough tabletops, the things that usually leave tiny marks on your phone, are far less likely to leave a trace here. Now, let's be clear, MAO isn't magic. It's not going to suddenly make the OnePlus 15 indestructible, and it's not a replacement for the titanium frames or ultra-tough glass we see on top-tier iPhones and Galaxy Ultras. What it does do is improve scratch resistance and durability while keeping the phone light. And that could be a sweet spot for users who don't want a heavy brick in their pocket just for the sake of toughness. It also opens up new possibilities for design. Because the MAO process lets OnePlus manipulate finishes in unique ways, we're seeing fresh color options like the Sandstorm variant, a matte, slightly textured tone that actually looks like sand. It's a subtle detail, but it shows how OnePlus is thinking beyond the usual glossy slabs and mirror finishes we've seen for years. But durability alone isn't enough to win over buyers, especially when Apple, Samsung, and Xiaomi are dropping headline-grabbing devices of their own. So, what else is OnePlus packing into the 15? For starters, there's a complete redesign. The iconic circular camera island is gone, replaced by a rectangular setup similar to the one on the OnePlus 13T. It's a small visual change, but one that makes the phone look more refined and modern. And under the hood, the upgrades are substantial. We're talking about a massive 7,000 mAh battery, one of the largest in any mainstream flagship, paired with 120-watt wired and 50-watt wireless charging. That means you're not just getting longevity, you're getting speed too. Imagine fully charging your phone while you make breakfast. The display is expected to shrink ever so slightly to 6.78 inches with a 1.5K resolution and an ultra-smooth 165Hz refresh rate. It's a minor drop in pixel density from the OnePlus 13, but that trade-off for fluidity will likely be worth it for gamers and heavy scrollers alike. OnePlus is also shaking things up with its signature alert slider. Rumor has it, it's being replaced by a customizable button. That's bound to divide fans. The slider has been a defining feature since the early days, but customization could make it far more useful. Still, there's something undeniably satisfying about that little tactile flick and many long-time users will miss it. Inside, the OnePlus 15 is as cutting edge as you'd expect. Snapdragon 8 Gen 5, at least 12 gigabytes of RAM, and a revamped camera setup with a new 50 megapixel telephoto lens. That combination should deliver the kind of power and performance that keeps pace with anything Apple or Samsung throws out this year. And there's one more detail that might be the most exciting of all, availability. OnePlus has already started teasing the 15 in the US, hinting that this might be the company's first truly global launch done right. The previous flagship, the OnePlus 13, hit China in October 2024, but didn't make it to most other markets until months later. This time, it looks like we could see the OnePlus 15 everywhere before the year ends, a big deal for fans who are tired of waiting. So is the OnePlus 15 built to last or just built to hype? The honest answer is probably a bit of both. MAO isn't a miracle material, but it is a smart evolution, one that gives the phone better real-world durability without making it bulky. Combine that with a massive battery, 
fast charging, a fresh design, and flagship level power, and OnePlus has put together a device that's not just chasing specs, but trying to solve real-world problems. At the end of the day, we all want our phones to do more than look pretty in a launch video. We want them to handle the messy, unpredictable reality of daily life, the drops, the scratches, the chaos of being tossed into a pocket or bag. If the OnePlus 15 can truly deliver on that promise, it could be one of the most practical upgrades of the year. And in a market obsessed with thinness and flash, that might just be the most refreshing thing of all. What's your thoughts on this? Let me know in the comments section. See you in the next video. Take care.